Hey everyone, today's video is about the five things you need to know when buying a home in Vancouver. Whether you're a seasoned veteran, a first time home buyer, or maybe you like to flip homes, this video will be very good for you. So the biggest mistake people make when they're buying a home is they buy it emotionally and aren't thinking of the future. So just to give you an example, we had a young couple, they're both 27, had been saving for five years, bought their first condo, and a year down the road, they're going to have a new addition. And hence, we have a requirement for more space. When you go and buy and sell numerous times, within just say it's within five or 10 years, you have commissions to pay, you have transfer tax to pay, you have legal fees to pay, and in a lot of cases, you have penalty clauses on your mortgage. Those all add up. You can save a lot of money by planning ahead five to 10 years. The second biggest issue I see is walking into a home that's staged and everyone gets mesmerized by the emotion and how nice things look. And not every case, but some cases that's a band-aid. Yes, we all want to look nice till it gets sold, but in this market, in Vancouver, with multiple offer situations going on, doesn't allow you the time to do certain things which need to be done, which is the biggest one is inspection. You don't want to get caught and have issues in the future. So to give you an example, we sold a home in East Vancouver recently. And yes, it was very, very nice. But on we had the inspector there because there was lots of people involved in this one. It's a two-bedroom basement suite, mortgage helper, very in demand, but we had the inspector in tow. And in that inspection, he, he found, and unbeknownst to the seller, there's a huge crack in the foundation wall. Because we went to the home prepared with the inspector, our offer got chosen because they were on a very tight time frame. In the end, the seller made a concession on the price, and my buyer walks away with a very good deal and the home of his dreams. So the number three issue is financing. And with everything else, you have to get prepared. So getting financing, there's a myriad of details that you would have to go through and understand when it comes to getting a mortgage. It's really imperative to find a good mortgage broker to be able to guide you and help you through this process. Mortgage financing is much more difficult than it was in the past and you need to surround yourself with somebody that really, really understands the mortgage system these days. And if you've ever seen a mortgage document, it's this thick and it's all in fine print. And to give you an example, there's a certain bank out there that has what they call a no sales clause. A no sales clause means that Basically, you're locked into that financial institution basically for 25 years. And the only way you can break that mortgage is to sell your home, which can cost you an awful lot of money in penalty fees. When it comes to buying and selling a home, an agent who knows their stuff can help and guide you through the myriad of details that really, really need to be addressed in the process. Writing enforceable contracts is the ultimate right there. Maybe you're buying a tower downtown. What's going to happen with a view in the future? These are all sorts of things that the, your good agent will investigate. So we do our homework every single time for every single person to make sure they are making the right decision. So finally, the last most important item or issue is multiple offers and you need to be prepared. Multiple offers are rampant out there in the market today. And you ask yourself, why is that? There's been a mass exodus from metropolitan areas to more suburban areas. Lots of people, and I have lots of clients where there's a husband and wife, they're working from their home, small one bedroom, and they can't both work off the kitchen table. Hence, more space. And they're moving to the burbs to do that so that each person has a separate place to work. So as a result of this demand, multiple offers are abounding in the suburban areas with bigger square footage. 
It's really important in a multiple offer to have your team in place and ahead of time so that you're prepared to move forward if you so choose. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button just so we know that we're doing a good job. And if you'd like to be notified of other future videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. If you've been looking for real estate, you know how hard it is to look at all of these real estate sites and it's time consuming. You need to be set up in what they call an auto search. And the auto search is based on your specific requirements, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, locations, etc., etc. Therefore, you're only seeing the homes that pertain to your specific parameters and not wasting a pile of time.